All right, let's get on to your topic, man. Well, uh, if you love debacles, have I got a story for you? <laughs> it's a very <laughs> scandalous <story> episode. <laughs> and this one's very near and dear to my heart. So if you haven't seen the news today, or at least, well, today when we recording this podcast, if you haven't 11, seen 8. it by the time it gets out, <laughs> uh, Square Enix just announced that they're dropping like 75% of DLC that they were going to make for Final Fantasy XV. Um, oh boy. Uh, yeah, that's a lot. And uh, even worse news, I think, and this is actually kind of a sad one in, in my eyes, is that uh, Tabata-san, um, who was the essentially the head director on it when Nomura kind of stepped away from the project um, to, I guess, to go work on Kingdom Hearts 3 for the next 10 years. He was forced uh, off of it. <laughs> pro- I'm guessing he was probably forced off of it more than anything because, you know, Final Fantasy 13 versus was essentially what Final Fantasy 15 is now. Um, he is unfortunately... Uh, resigning from the company and he's going on to create his own game company which is kind of sad because the dude actually has a, a pretty good decent track record and he he really actually put a lot of work into the game like he's not he's an unsung hero for final fantasy 15, yeah but he, he's probably the he, reason it got made in the first yeah, place he really is. it was a very uh, sinking ship i want to know this st- the the oh, whole story of that really. game's development because i think yeah. he came in only like three or four years ago out of the 10 years it's yeah been announced since it's been announced yeah, he um I mean but he's been with uh he's been with Final Fantasy for uh he's been with the Final Fantasy group for a while now. Um he worked on uh uh since 2004 he's been working on with them for before Crisis for the mobile. Um but he's worked on games like Crisis Core, uh Final Fantasy Type 0. In fact, a lot of his stuff is Final Fantasy mostly. Um but he also worked on Kingdom Hearts Coded uh and He's worked on uh, Final Fantasy Dimensions, uh, Dean, obviously, King's Glaive, Brave Exodus, so on and so forth. But he's been with the company for about uh, 14 years. Um, he's done some good stuff with it. He's, again, pretty much the reason why they were able to get it out there in the first place. So, But he's, he's going to be leaving. He's off to uh, potentially create greener pastures as opposed to going to greener pastures. Um, but what that means for Final Fantasy 15, we're uncertain. Yeah, fully. we were getting um, for we were getting an RNA DLC, a Luna Freya yep. DS, DLC, an Arden DLC, and who's the other one? Uh, Noctis. Noctis was the last. One. Okay, yeah, we're so. actually getting a, a bit of a story to him, which is kind of sad because Arnea was a very liked character. Yeah. Um, uh, Luna Freya Ar- definitely did not have enough going on. She did yeah, she not more. have enough. She needed more, and unfortunately, her story's been scrapped. So anything that we could have yeah. potentially had that would have made this game full. They're uh, also releasing um, the the companions or whatever it's called as a standalone game. Yeah, yeah, it was interest was weird. I guess. Yeah, so it's a little bit interesting. I I wonder if it actually have has been successful. Uh, apparently it has been. Uh, I, I I just saw an article about it. I didn't I didn't have a chance to read it, but it it stated at least on its you know its you know glorious clickbait title, um, new game standalone been doing very well. Essentially, what it boils down. Um, but I could be wrong. You know, do a search on it right now while I'm talking. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, unfortunately, we're only gonna get Arden. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it for at least this. Yeah, screen which is side fun, of things, but... but you know, one yeah, more. They also announced uh, that they were uh, closing, or uh, oh yeah, they're closing down a um, or I guess, or sorry, shifts. They were shifting the focus of Luminous Productions, which was the the new subsidiary they created back in March, on with uh, and the head was Hajime Tabata. Yeah, so. Yeah. And they're also uh, planning to uh, experiment with subscription-based game yes, models, Yes, that just came out, too. So, um... Yeah. That's, a, that's such a big beast to do. There's a lot of things that are going on with Square Enix. Yeah, well, right yeah they Gosh, just had a big announce, uh, revenue did. announcement. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes, they did. So what, what the fuck is going on with Square Enix, guys? I, I will say, if just because it, I get to be a little bit closer to Square Enix because of playing Final Fantasy fourteen. So I'm I told Meta to go and play. ask them next week. Yeah, I'm going to be asking Yoshi P. I'm going to be talking to him and be like, bro, you're on the board, man. What's going on up there, dude? What, what are you guys doing? <laughs> so, um, 
No, it's it, this has kind of been an effect we've noticed within Square Enix in and of itself. Uh, Final Fantasy fourteen has been kind of in desperate need for some refreshing and revitalization. Um, and we're down the very, very large grapevine. So I would say take this with the biggest heaping of salt you can take is that there has been some very conservative views by the majority of the company and the board uh, about not wanting to try anything too risky with the game in fear of potential failure of it because it, it is essentially a lifeline for them right now. It's quite literally feeding a lot of things. Um, bigger issue is that they've had a very hard time also getting... Uh, and I don't know why this seems to be nearly impossible, but for about almost four years now, they have been trying to desperately get more battle designers onto it. And that, and those, um, and those uh, specific individuals just for that game, just for that game, mind you, of just mm-hmm. of FF14 has been up on their, uh, uh, you know, jobs listing for a very long time. So I don't know if people are not making the requirements or they're just there. It keeps going back, hashing back and forth. Um, Nomura has moved around a lot. Uh, he was pulled eventually off of 15 from his time spent on trying to create 13 verses, which is what led to the humongous delay on three, which now three is uh, Kingdom Hearts three is now finally getting made. They're all over the place. It ain't I don't gold know yet, man. It ain't gold yet. It ain't. Yet. <laughs> uh, SC has been all over the place and it's, it's getting a yeah, little now bit. Now he's working on Final Fantasy seven and they're also yes. wanting to reboot the entire Final Fantasy seven compilation now is what they're saying. Do I, I, don't, of that. Couple, I don't know why. Yes, the whole thing. The whole thing. Weird. So touching. Crosses Core, um, I Dirge of Cerberus. Yeah, some of the um uh what's the uh blah, 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 the things where people talk supposed? Uh, uh some of the, what people have been um God, there's a word that's like stuck in my mouth. <laughs> um Anyway, people think it might be to be, they like shifted the uh, focus of the one studio over. Like maybe they're just trying to get Final Fantasy VII now done as quickly as possible because they know they'll make money on that. Mm-hmm. They will, um, but I, they, they're because that's such a game under such an eye of scrutiny. If that is yeah. not done right, people will crucify them. But like, so their earnings report uh, as of yesterday, like when yes. they came out, they talked about how increased digital sales are prolonging the life cycle of new titles yep. and post-launch initiatives becoming increasingly sig- are becoming increasingly significant more than ever or whatever, basically. Which, I mean, it sounds like they want to have more DLC, so them canceling a bunch of DLC, like, what would be the reasoning there, right? Like, they just can't... They basically yeah. said they're going to focus on this sort of thing, and then they just... The same at the same time they canceled a bunch of what they were going to focus yeah. on. I saw some industry people saying uh, it might have been Jason Schreier. To go back, to Jason Schreier commenting on stuff, um, saying that a lot of big studios like your Naughty Dogs and stuff are moving away from DLC and single player games and just releasing them as expansions, almost like whole completely new games in a sense, yeah. like they did with Uncharted, because uh, they had the one with the. Uh, uh, nadine and the other girl i don't know enough oh, yeah, about yeah. uncharted lore so lost legacy or whatever laura it was bailey. called Game. yeah laura bailey was one of the yep. voice actresses but they might be doing like more of that kind of stuff i guess yeah. which i mean is kind of what the uh these dlcs were felt like in a way yeah they did yeah. and um but, i think a lot of it probably too is that tomb raider alone, so. didn't do so well the new tomb raider, tomb raider. Game. Tomb Raider did not do as as well as they would have liked. Um, right, Shadow, but, Shadow of Tomb Raider, which is probably telling because I think they always put massive expectations, like millions and millions of copies are what they need, like need it to sell, basically, mm-hmm. like well outside of what like any like a lot of other companies would be like. Yeah, that's fine. But, it's I'm it, it's what it really feels like is that there's a lot of internal um shifting and moving that we can't unfortunately see yeah. but we're very aware of because this actually as least it sounds this kind of reminds me a little bit of capcom about four or three years ago mm-hmm. um when they just seemed to they were at rock be, bottom yeah they were just mm-hmm. at rock bottom i mean now capcom is doing everything right they are doing some amazing stuff right now um but they seem to just Square Enix is kind of in this rut, and yeah. I don't think they know where they need they're trying to go and they need to figure it out yeah. because there is we feel the effects. Even if we can't point to any specific reason, what's happening internally is affecting everything externally. And so they've apparently always been a 
very difficult company to be a part of and to make these games for. Because, I mean, obviously you have, like... Sakaguchi left because uh, yes. he wanted to kind of have more independence and do his own thing. Um, I, Tabata, I guess, is doing the same thing. Um, so. you, basically, the only old guard you have left is Nomura, and he is and he just can't get anything done. So if you you can't rest your laurels Nomura, on Nomura, Nomura is is an excellent he's an excellent artist and i am sure he's got some great he has ideas. awesome ideas he's good he at coming up with ideas good. but he's he's been put on a number of projects now and those projects end up taking either a billion years or he ends yeah. up getting pulled to something else and yeah. it's left for somebody else quite literally at times to pick up the pieces for it. yeah and he is allegedly very uh mercurial like he'll just like and it's apparently something he did with Versus 13. Uh, it was rumored to happen. He would just, like, try to completely 90-degree shift things, like, when they were already working on assets for this one thing, and he'd want to completely scrap, like, you don't, half a year's you work. You don't get the Kingdom Hearts uh, story without being like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't. You don't. That's true. <laughs> so. uh, but, I mean... But I mean, we, we've seen it now when Nomura was put on the head of Final Fantasy VII development. Final Fantasy VII had an outside team, which I don't know. I've also seen talk about that the SE wants to try to keep, um, you know, putting things on their engines. But I mean, we, Final Fantasy VII jumped off tangent there. Sorry. Uh, Final Fantasy VII was being done by an outside team, or at least was helping with core parts of it. Uh, they worked out, I think, for about two-ish years on it. Um, when it was finally showing off some stuff, and then uh, they gave it they to someone decided... else, didn't they? <laughs> no, they pulled it away. They just decided to pull it away from them. They didn't. They there was some for some reason, and and they've never said why. For some reason, I'm guessing it's because like some guy scuffed one guy's shoe, and then it was just the end of the relationship. <laughs> um, in the elevator, up... yeah, the... pretty much. <laughs> they the pulled best... it away, and they yeah. haven't shown anything since for it. The... And we don't know where it is. I guess the the most or. Uh... Probably the reason people would, would be the, or at least, what would be the best out outcome of that for at least people who are already fans of Final Fantasy VII would be that that game that was being worked on was very, or like, you know, very different. And they pulled it back because they actually were like, no, we're just going to make it remake Final Fantasy VII yeah. as Final Fantasy VII. Like, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We, but we, the problem Pull is. back the, on like the weird combat or whatever they were going to do. And, but the more so Final Fantasy XV style combat. Yeah. I would still kind of expect it to follow along that lines, but maybe not changing the story around. So, or I don't know. I don't know what to really expect it with seven at this point. We really don't know mm. anything. It's hard to say exactly. because yeah. unfortunately, as silly as it sounds, Nomura's on the project. And yep. I mean, which means it'll take 10 years. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I make that joke all the time. God forbid. And I apologize if it's annoying, but, uh, <laughs> That is I mean, Nomura's it's, M.O. It's his M.O. Yeah. I, that's just unfortunately... Kingdom Hearts like, 3, Final yeah, Fantasy 15. 15. Mm -hmm. Like, we've heard Only almost months. nothing. I mean, I, uh, Final Fantasy 7 was finally announced, given real life, what was it, like three or four years ago? And then we saw some yeah, information that maybe a, yeah, like an, a, a year and a half later on, and then mm -hmm. it's been silent again. That's This is technically three to four years. Most large games, uh, when they're really big in development, take anywhere from potentially three to five years of a development cycle and five years is a pretty long time yep you start pushing into uh, that without any news i think i mean i think game development has gotten longer than it used to be but still. it is it is but even so it's they generally just have no yeah i mean they used to something. crank out a final fantasy every year so yeah i mean obviously development with the newer systems requires yeah, more time yeah, yeah exactly but um but even at three to five years development time, it, it, we haven't seen anything. That's the problem. They gave uh, us something. 2015 E3 was the uh, announcement. Yeah, so there three and a half years. Three ago. and a half years, yeah. yeah. Which, but, and, uh, uh, as far as we know, who knows what's going on in it? Yeah. yeah. And that's the problem. It would be nice to kind of know, like, just give us a yeah. heads up. Like, just throw, 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 like, a line out there and say, like, hey, yeah. guys, just wanted to let you know, we're still working on Final Fantasy VII. Um, yeah. That's... We are just, you know, we're just doing some changes to it that we really want, you know, to make it the best experience possible. We want to show you some stuff. It's just not ready right now, but do let That's you know. That's a whole different thing yeah. that and, I'm and not it's... a fan of. Yeah. <laughs> <The> game's <laughs> getting announced and then nothing. Oh, from yeah. Them. I know. That's Cyberpunk. 
It's like, just shut up. Just don't tell me. Let me live ignorantly bliss. Well, yes. Don't say it. Yes. Please. I don't need to know that you're making something awesome and then you don't say anything for two years. I just yeah. don't do Five that. Five years, I think. Cyberpunk. Or yeah. Yeah. Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk has been, was touched on and then like was never talked yeah, about. It's again. just like, it's weird. I, and I think the problem with Square, Square still makes really good games. They have smaller CEOs who do stuff like Nier, Dragon Quest XI, Octopath Traveler. Yes. Uh, the uh, World of Final Fantasy, which people love and is very well lauded. I haven't World played yet. World of Final Fantasy is fantastic. Yeah. I know it seems like a kid's game, and it really is catered to they're that. global games. <laughs> it's that great. They on. Yeah, they're yes. mo- and, and they're mobile games, which people it's, love. And their really mobile good. games make bank. They've they're got ma- like three or four out that all Huge. do really well. Yeah. Huge so it's money in those. Quirky little side games. I think the problem is the... Expectations? Like, <laughs> yes, and the higher ups in Square have their fingers too deeply in Final Fantasy itself to let someone kind of creatively run with the game, and that that's kind of like I, I could be completely wrong, but just from it's, my perspective, that looks like the problem. I, I don't disagree with you because again, from playing Final Fantasy fourteen, the sense of stagnation when you uh, a new piece of content called Eureka was originally announced by Yoshida. Um, who Yoshi P for his affection was originally not fine. He stated that he really wanted to try something new and different with it. He was going to be doing something uh, unique, um, special, something that would probably pull on some nostalgia from old players. There was a lot when we heard about it, when he was originally talking about it, he sounded like this whole new piece of content that sounded really great. Eureka actually came out. It was not only came out very late, which was a problem in and of itself, but when it came out late, it was not that amazing. In fact, it was pretty much something we had already done before, if not exactly the same, with only like the slightest of change. It has kind of continued like that until just finally when they released the newest one now, and now you get to do some pretty cool stuff. But a lot of people um, noted this, and it almost feels like that the attempt to even create or try something, let a creative designer run with something and attempt it, is just stifled and held back. And it shows. It really does. Because then you get what we have now with SE. Yeah. Yeah. It's They have like 11 different studios and publish other games that aren't technically their studios. Mm -hmm. So they still end up coming out with good games, but it's like the main games, the top ones, the ones that they're like, this is going to be our best game of the, you know, whatever year cycle, whatever. It just ends up falling. Yep. And which is really depressing because you get a game. They like, as Bob Ross would say, they pull it to death. (laughs) Yes. Uh, And it's, it's this, whoever, I, I and I guess if it's if you're saying it's tires up, if somebody high up has got their hand too deep in this project, all they're doing is slowly choking it to death, and yeah. it's a very disgusting death because it's you sad. have a game like Final Fantasy 15. Yeah, it's incredibly sad because a game like Final Fantasy 15, and I stand by it. I've said this before on here before, but it could have been a great game. They're really what? Meta, it's the greatest game like... of all time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, was it a... had some. It has some great moments and it not so really great. It really does. Moments. It does, and and you can see it. You can see in the pacing and whatnot. But my God, if there it's... was something realistic about that game that I forever will remember about that game, it mm-hmm. is the communication between your characters. It's they cer- had a great story. It's certainly the most interesting Final Fantasy game they ever made, probably just because of the development. But yeah, yeah. it's just sad because. I mean, I love Final Fantasy. It's my favorite video game series of all time, probably. And it's just sad to see what it's become and, you know, what's what's going on with Square. I think, like, yeah. the happiest I could ever be, like, any uh, the happiest announcement that could ever happen was if they got Sakaguchi and, like, uh, uh, oh, my God, what's his, why am I drawing a blank? The Conductor back, uh... <laughs> Kill uh, me, Meta. Who is it? Oh my god. Uh, for Final, he's Final like, Fantasy. He's on sick leave right now. And I know, but I'm just, I'm just, uh, I'm just giving you my Nomura, dreams. Uh, right not, not Nomura. Uh, uh, Umatsu. Oh my god. Umatsu. 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 Yes. Umatsu. They got like, yes. him Umatsu. and like Nomura doing the character art and stuff. They got Again, the team back together. Yeah, like the, they got late the SNES back. boys are back in town. The boys are back like, in town. <laughs> I would probably cry. It would make me so happy. Uh, I mean, these guys, again, like, they, they've they gotten considerably older. Yes, and, they have. And, you know, people change. 
Um, it's, no, it's Nobu Uematsu. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Even I mean, if they all got back together, there's no guarantee it'd be any good. Hey, Last Story was supposed to be really good. I never got to play it. It's actually <laughs> funny, too, because they did bring in uh, a number of the head people that had worked on Final Fantasy VII, the original one. They actually have them on the project of this remake for Final Fantasy VII, but they switched around who was, like, leading it and who wasn't leading it. Like, Nomura actually wasn't the head of the project. It was, um, oh, what's his name? There was a, a different gentleman, uh, but he was actually the head of the original Final Fantasy VII. But when Final Fantasy VII then came back around and they're doing the remake, they swapped his position um mm -hmm. with uh i think it was yoshitaka amano i think i think that might have been who it is the artist uh amano is like the uh logo artist i think or, or was, was it yoshinori kitase kitase yes, yes 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 they think okay yeah yeah so I, i'm right yeah kitase was uh he was the head of it and uh nomura was actually kind of like underneath him and they've swapped that around and i don't know why when they brought all the original guys back but that is that's something there and uh i mean we'll see what happens from it but these uh, these guys were brought back so even mm -hmm. they, they this specific they did bring them back for this they are here yeah i i'm just hoping that once kingdom hearts 3 is out they'll finally start talking a lot about 7 mm -hmm. yes maybe it's that sort of thing where they don't want it to overshadow you know kingdom hearts 3 coming out but maybe we'll get something about I'm 16 soon dude yeah, I would expect to see if there's not something at E3 this year, it's probably a pretty bad sign. Yeah, yeah. And that once Kingdom Heart, like you know, their big Kingdom Hearts three is out, like they got now, they, they got to show something. Sh they, or at least, they, I mean, even if they don't have something to show, they got to yeah. like be, they got to talk about it. Well, E3 will be bad if we don't. If we got nothing by TGS, then it, then it's mm. it's like critical mass <laughs> probably. Yeah so yeah we need i would i would agree if we don't see something within at least the next e3 on ff7 we've there is there is this is not a good sign um that is not something you want to see happen. give me our yeast too damn it they, I, again square, they, square you do not mess this game up this is literally the game that could bring square enix back from like this could be the turnaround game like capcom had its turnaround game yeah. This could be the turnaround game for Square Enix. Man, Final Fantasy. It could it, be their Monster Hunter it, world. <laughs> all they have to do with FF7, they don't even have to do a new combat system. All they would have to do is make it the new graphics, and that thing yeah. would sell game yeah. busters, but they don't want to do I, it. Absolutely. They want to retcon some I shit. Can under, well, I can understand wanting to make a, you know, yeah, a, like, sure, a sure. different game style, like, because Final Fantasy 7 already exists. They've already made that game. So, like, if they're doing a full remake, like, I could see them why they want to, but I just don't, mm -hmm. like, they're going to, there's a high chance they'll just piss off a bunch of the fans oh, that yeah. already played the game. No. Nope. Yeah. I don't think they'll be happy at this point, but, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't know. I just, I all I remember, I do remember, though, three years ago when they first showed the trailer, and, and I just remember that everybody, it even game, even game announcers and whatnot, and people who were doing reviews, were tripping on the fact that this was happening. I remember watching one video. I can't remember what it is. Um, it's, but the, this one, it's, it's the one guy <laughs> where he's just jumping up yeah, and down. One dude yeah. just jumps on a table. He's freaking out. It uh, was the, it's the, like the Game Informer or something. The, the yes. announcement, and then one guy just goes nuts in the crowd. Like the crowd's like pretty like silent, except one guy who's just like, "Woo!" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. I just remember seeing this shit. It was great. It yeah. was great. I just, I, I don't want this to get into what is essentially turning into uh, very scary ter territory yeah. called development hell. And I, I just don't, don't want to see that. I don't want to see Square go bankrupt. That's what I don't, I don't want. want. I love Square. I don't want to. I like Square. I do. They make good products. I just, I don't yeah. want to see them fail. You don't want to like, see something good yeah. fail, but it can happen. Love, I just played Dragon Quest Eleven and I loved it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yep, they still make good stuff. They just they need. Just, I'm just telling you, them higher ups need to leave their hands out of the cookie jar. Just let let the people yeah, make their I games. I think eleven. I think eleven was or Dragon Quest is like because or you know it's not expected to do well in the West and like it's such traditional like they can't be like we're gonna do this huge thing because oh yeah so unexpected so they just probably left it alone let the people working on it do their thing yeah. 
and it turned out great. Oh. Just like let people designers. make their games. Trust your staff. Trust your staff, it's like, Square. It's almost like designers know what they're doing. It's like they've <laughs> you know gone to school to design. 